I think this uh, it's an interesting question. Is there's a number of questions here where the general theme is if you want to break into the games industry or you want to start doing this professionally, mm. uh, any tips or tricks or what do you do or where do you learn? Like that, that's a very all encompassing question. So how would you approach <laughs> answering that? Yeah. So breaking into the games industry. Well, um, well, funny enough, I don't actually work in the game industry. So I mean, I can answer as how to break into the industry in general as a developer. And that's obviously you're going to want to, uh, I mean, options out there are interning. And I, again, I don't really know in the game industry if like internships are a thing. I, I don't know if you can speak to that, but, um, interning, uh, you know, contributing as a consultant is something that's mm, maybe when you're first starting out, isn't the best thing to do. But, uh, and I know that there are some, sometimes you can consult and do very low level things that are, you know, not necessarily, um, making design decisions, but at least getting some experience, uh, like tackling some low hanging fruit, um, obviously working on your resume. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think, Jason? Well, I think it's one of those ones that's a little bit of a weird trick question because hmm. there isn't, there isn't a road that gets you from where you are yeah, to work in the games one industry. Yeah. And even, even the, the idea of trying to, it's one of those, it's such a cliche, but when you're not looking for it, it'll arrive kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and and I can I can really attest to this personally. And, and most people I've talked to that I work with in games will tell me the same thing. I literally went to college and did a course with games in the title. So I went in education for to to, to kind of learn how to, to be a game developer to some degree. Um, and after the course was done, I ended up working in a bank <laughs> because you just there's no <laughs> jobs in especially in Ireland where I am where you can kind of dive into the games industry. The only jobs in the games industry that were available at the time. We're in call centers doing support for, I think mm. at the time it was a Star Wars MMO. I can't remember what it was. There was some game and it was it kind of recently opened up a, um, a couple of new offices. But they wanted people with uh, phone support experience who'd been doing it for 20 years or, or 10 years even. They wouldn't, they wouldn't hire uh, graduates. So there's no graduate opportunity. So I basically went in, worked in banking. And so how I got into the industry, so to speak, uh, was actually nothing to do with my day job. I was sitting there at work every day as a programmer doing programmer boring stuff and I spent all of my free time in subreddits. So I spent all of my free time on slash our Unity 3D, uh, on, uh, I did the same on slash game dev and most importantly Oculus. At the time the Oculus subreddit was about 2,000 people. So that's really not that many in the grand scheme of things. And these were a bunch of tight-knit people who were really interested in the same topics. And at the time, VR Chat was a new product. No one had ever heard of it. Um, Jesse and Graham were making it by themselves, and there was like four people who would go and visit it. And they would have meetups with just a few people, and we'd meet up, and we'd have a chat about stuff. And then slowly but surely, you do that for three, four months. You make friends, you meet up with people, and then you, you end up getting op options for different things you can do. So from there, I got offered to work on some game jams because there was people doing various different projects, and they're artists but didn't have any programming ability. And I said I'd help. So the, the kind of the long story short of all of that is you're not going to very few people I know of will do a course or something equivalent to a course and find themselves at the job they want. What happens instead is you join communities of things you are interested in. You will meet like minded people. And if you can find what skills need to be done, if you could, if you have a skill they don't have, if you're an artist in a room of programmers or vice versa, you can then offer your skills to help for free, meet the right people. And then after a while, you become known as a guy who can do that stuff and then you can eventually um, meet the right people and, and start kind of branching off from there. And so where I am now is I own a contracting company with, um, I work with some of the people I still, I met back then, I still work with them today and I'm entirely self-employed. And I didn't start that way. Again, I worked in a bank and I did that for years and it wasn't, I, I kind of given up on the idea of doing games and what got me into games was just meeting people and talking to the right people and having the right connections. So. There, unfortunately, there isn't like a follow this 10 step program the, the trick mm -hmm. is simply find like minded people group up work on fun projects and you'll eventually someone will someone will get successful and you just ride their coattails until all of you are successful. <laughs> That's kind of the way it works. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely. It's it's who you know and who you rub shoulders with and, and you can just position yourself by getting getting involved with communities online. Like, for instance, in, in the infallible code discord server, uh, Ruby Nova, who is one of our admins. Uh, he, he actually landed a job, uh, with a gaming company. Uh, I think they did like, I think it was like casino type gaming, but nonetheless gaming. And, uh, yeah, he, he landed a job and went and moved, 
I think to the Netherlands or something to work with them. And so, yeah, it's, I have a meetup here that I go to where I live in Atlanta and, uh, you know, I've met a lot of people there and, um, even though I'm not looking for an opportunity, opportunities have arisen, you know, that were, you know, it was just an option. So that's, that's basically probably your best bet. Try to get to know people and, you know, provide value to some community in some way. And I think generally that's, that's speaking, pretty small that's a, as well. As a, as a community, like you'll end up meeting a lot of people. Like yeah. w- when you're at the same parties with John Carmack, you're like, "How did this happen? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't plan <laughs> this," you know. So it's it's pretty cool. Like you can you'll be surprised. I, I I got to meet a load of developers of games I've played, and that's a really cool feeling because the same people who are passionate about games that want to get into the industry are the same people who used to be passionate about games, got into the industry, and now make games. So you're bound to meet the people that you you know that make games you like if you kind of stick with it and go to the right group and meetups and go to the various events and stuff like that's all it really takes is just meeting people and slowly worming yourself in you know 